It's been a tragic run for deadly earthquakes along the Pacific Ring of Fire. The recovery process will be a long road following a magnitude 7 and a 6.2 in Japan and a magnitude 7.8 in Ecuador. Aftershocks will continue for both countries. And while there was no way of predicting that those quakes would strike, seismologists studying those regions knew that an earthquake of roughly that size was likely to happen someday. It's called a seismic gap. This is a segment of an active fault known to produce significant earthquakes that has gone quiet for an unusually long time. So what exactly does that mean? Well, normally the various tectonic plates that cover our Earth are constantly bumping and grinding into one another. The rate of these interactions, whether it be two plates moving towards each other, moving away from each other or sliding side by side, is only in the order of magnitude that our fingernails grow. But if a section of these two plates becomes stuck or locked in place, then the stress will begin to build up. And the longer these plates are stuck, the more potential energy builds up until finally the plates snap past each other and the energy is released as an earthquake. That's what happened off the coast of Ecuador. A 100 kilometer section of the ocean plate had gone quiet for more than a century. While well, areas outside of that zone have seen large earthquakes since 1900, this area had not. And while scientists couldn't say exactly when and where it would happen, they knew it was coming. The latest research in southern Japan also suggested a magnitude 7 was possible in the next few decades. And there are other seismic gaps happening along the coast of South America, Japan, and yes, parts of the west coast of North America. Well, we are continually learning more and more about what is happening under our feet, and we'll get a better sense at narrowing down the locations and timelines for big earthquakes, we will never be able to predict exactly when and where. That's why for people living in earthquake zones, preparation is key. Building codes, emergency preparedness, early earthquake warnings, and knowing what to do when one hits can save lives. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.